everybody, Lammy here, and welcome to another episode. We are in Santa Barbara, California on our mini vacation on Labor Day weekend, and we are at Mission Santa Barbara. So this is like a church and a mission here that was built in 1786, guys, 1786. Gosh, that's a long time ago, and it's still standing. So I'm going to be in charge of the camera today because I want you to see things that I want you to see from my perspective. So I'm going to be in charge of the camera, so you may not see me much, but this is the mission. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go on in. That's an old fountain, guys. Wow. What's this over here? <laughs> So this is a clothes washing basin. So they used to do laundry here. It was built by the Kubash Indians in 1808. Wow. That's old. So this is the guy that founded the place. Wow. Okay guys, so for the rest of this video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I wanted to be respectful while I was at this location, so I didn't want to do a lot of talking while we were in there. There was also a lot of people around, so it was a little loud. So this is when you first walk in. This is kind of like the welcome center when you first get there. And then there's a model of the mission right there, so you can see how big it is. And then this is the gift shop which is connected and it has all sorts of little trinkets and things like that some of it religious and some of it not um, but this was like the room with the books and the crosses and maps and pictures and things and then you went into this room and there was lots of jewelry and trinkets and little knick-knack things it was really neat we bought some stuff then we decided we would take the tour so you have to pay for the tour and then you walk from the gift shop into this area and then you walk out here and it is the sacred garden and the sacred garden is very beautiful there's lots of trees and flowers in it um, and there's the sign for it and so yeah lots of trees this used to be um, back in the day um, when the mission was first built they used this for a vegetable garden um, as well as some fruit trees nice old bench there so all the all the artwork and all the decoration and fencing and thing is all original to this place and like I said it was built in 1786 so it's really old guys and there's an old fountain in the middle very pretty it was really hot out I wish I could have jumped in that fountain so then you walk along the paths that go along the side of the garden and it's just very pretty and then here's the side of the mission. You can see how old it is. It's very old. They've done a good job maintaining it and keeping up with it. So then we follow the tour around here and then there's some artifact things that, you, that they used at the mission. And yeah, I don't know what these big round things are. They look like wheels to me. But yeah, very cool. And then we're gonna go over here, guys, and you're gonna see an ox cart, because they used ox to pull the carts with like vegetables or hay or building materials, what have you. So there is an ox cart right there. It's very old, and they've preserved it. And then we're gonna go up these steps over here, and then these steps go up to the cemetery area. Yes, there is a cemetery on the property. Now the cemetery on the property is for the monks and the nuns that worked at the mission over the years, as well as some settlers that came. It also has a lot of Indians buried here. Kumash Indians um, are buried as well in this cemetery. Um, so I wanted to make sure I was very respectful while I was here. I had never been in a cemetery before now. Um, I am kind of young, so yeah, I've never been in a cemetery. So it wasn't scary at all. It was actually very quiet and very peaceful. And then we walk through these doors, and this is a mausoleum, so you can see all the little places um, for the monks and the nuns that worked here and passed away. And then we're going to go outside, back outside here, and we're going to take a look around. There was lots of these mausoleum things that were actually very pretty, guys. I wasn't scared at 
all. It was very, very pretty and very quiet and very peaceful and the sun was out, so it wasn't scary at all, guys. Some of the stones are really, really old from when the people worked here way, way back in the day. Hundreds of years ago, guys, this is a very old building. And we just follow it around. There's a huge trees and lots of light. It's just very pretty and peaceful. And here's the side of the mission for, that we can see from the back view. And yeah, keep going around, keep going around. And I can't wait for you guys to see this tree. This tree is huge. Okay, guys, so this is a huge fig tree, you know, figs that you eat, the, the fruit. This is a huge fig tree that they brought over from Australia, and it's been here for all these years. It's amazing, and it's really, really big, guys. So this is just a view of the side of the mission again. And then before we went inside the chapel, we saw this little lizard sitting here, and we just thought, hey, I want to film him. Okay, so now we're getting ready to go inside the chapel, and you can see some skull and crossbone stones above the door. So now we're inside, and the artwork in here is amazing. It's very pretty. So even if you're not a religious person, that's okay, because you can still appreciate how pretty everything is. It's just so beautiful in here. And those are the original wood doors, and that's the big thing of holy water right there, a big um, basin of it. And and this is a little secret room that they wouldn't let you in, so there's a, like a fence gate in front of it. But anyway, I had to film it because it's so colorful and it was very, very pretty and it was kind of hidden off to the side. So then we start to make our way to the front of the chapel. There were lots of people in there on another tour looking around. Uh, we did the tour where you just hung out. So yeah, guys, this is the mission. It's very beautiful and colorful. Um, yeah, so be sure to follow me. I have more videos coming. Also, subscribe and uh, follow my links to all my social media. They are in the description box below, and I will see you next time, guys.